Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a cube box. I'm totally addicted to making these at the moment. Can you tell? I'm making lots of different sizes and making them look so very different. And this is a, this is tone on tone autumnal stamping, I want to call it. I think that probably is because this is um, cherry cobbler and it's tone on tone and it's autumnal. I think that fits the needs. Okay, so I have got a piece of cardstock. This one's Cajun Cray, so you know the whole autumnal thing. And I've got my floral essence stamp, which was this one here that I used on here. And I just love it. Cajun Craze and I, well, orange and I are not friends. It's not a colour I work comfortably with. And I wish I did because I'm always, oh, well, that's lovely when I've made it but it's not a colour I reach for instinctively. So I'm gonna reach for it instinctively now. You know what I mean. So I'm just going randomly all over the place. Just anywhere. It's the whole beauty of random stamping. And there's no rules. Just wherever you fancy. Okay, I've got some edges to do. Bit there. I think that's done. Oh, I didn't tell you the size of it. Oops. Ten and a half by seven and a half inches. Because it's going to be a cube box that finishes up at two and a half by two and a half by two and a half inches. Metric six and a half. So metric paper, 27 by 19 and a half centimetres. Imperial, ten and a half by seven and a half. Okay. So on the long side, super easy, like any cube, it's the same measurement all the way along. Um, two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. That's metric. No, that's imperial. <laughs> I may need more coffee. Um, in metric, six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half, twenty-six. And then turn it round and do the first two measurements again. Two and a half and five, six and a half and thirteen centimeters so as I said it's a two and a half inch cubed box six and a half centimeters a pretty good size the one the hanging one I did recently for you was two by two at two and a half inches it's quite a considerable difference in size um, but I wanted to go autumnal because lots of reasons my dad's birthday is November my dad's birthday is November the 24th which is obviously a month before Christmas or a month before Christmas Eve and it's he's always said as long as I can remember when my birthday's over Christmas can start dad seriously I've been, I've been preparing Christmas since September but I do know that there are lots of birthdays around Christmas time or rather I think we talk more about birthdays at Christmas time because it feels like a shared celebration um, because, you know, particularly those who have birthdays in December and, you know, Christmas Day, you know, it's, it's once a year you get a gift, essentially, or once a year you get a special celebration for you. And so I like to stop and think about those who, who are celebrating at the festive time of year as well. And I think it's quite nice to go seasonal with wrappings and decorations and you could go seasonal you could oh ooh, if you're putting up christmas decorations you could put autumnal ones up first if your birthday is in the autumn and then just stick fairy lights around them afterwards and make them christmasy couldn't you see look thinking on the spot okay tear and tape I, do you know what? I chattered all the way through that. I cut all of the sides. Uh, sorry, I cut the two skinny bits away and mitered the edges and then I cut everything. Chattering away about birthdays. Happy birthday if it's yours today. So I folded in two sides in the back. Tape there and obviously because this is going to be a gift two sides back and there and now I've got these two ribbons on my shelf that I haven't opened and given the pairing of them 
I reckon they're from the Gather Together suite in the Autumn Winter catalogue. But I might have to get my catalogue out to check that because I don't want to give Duff information. So let me have a quick look. It is, thank goodness for that. So it is Crumb Cake and Cajun Craze Linen Thread. Combo pack for double the options. One spool of ribbon, one spool of thread. Yeah, so this is this is linen thread and crumb cake. So what I'm gonna do, no idea if this is going to work or not. No, what I was going to do was do both bits and tie them sort of together. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the square knot that I did originally. This is very nice ribbon. I have to say, it's got satin edging on it. Can you see the shine there? That's very nice. Oh, why have I not got this out before? Oh, Samantha Donald, that's rubbish. Okay. <laughs> Notes to self, get ribbons out as soon as they arrive in your office and play. Okay. So that one there, I'm gonna hold on to that because, apart, where's the end? Is that the end? Oh, it is. So there's the end and I might do a twist of some of this with my punched um, leaves that I'm going to do. So I've got the leaf punch and what I've got is my neutrals folder. So this is for receipts and things like that. So I want some of my neutrals. Um, I don't know if I want soft suede. I think I might go in with, well, I was going to go in with crumb cake except I don't have any scraps. So I'll take Sahara sand and I'll have couple of those and a couple of actually you know what I might have three of that one three of those and all I'm going to do is, is bend the leaves roughly in half just to get a little bit of texture going on can you see that turn them into like little spoons and um, it just gives a nice sort of finish, I think. At least I think so. Okay, so mini glue dots. Did I put them back? They're usually right in front of me. And it's not like I have a messy desk ever. Do you know what? Sometimes you can see nothing for looking. And I've not put them back. This is my glue holder. And they're definitely not in there, are they? Okay, new box it is then. Oh, tell me I've got a new box. Oh, no, I haven't got a new box of them. Oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> I'm going to have to order some. But I'm going to have to find them. They were right here. Oh, for goodness sakes. And I'm, uh, found them. They were under some tear and tape. Okay, I need to order some of those. Right, so I'm going to... I'm just putting them on for now as every other colour and then I'm going to assign a place in a minute but I want to get I want to use this so I'm going to wrap it round my fingers because that's really lovely and There we go. 
right, I'm going to put that end there. So now what I'm going to do Oopsie. I'm just layering them over each other. Oops, I'm throwing them at myself. I'm not worried about those ends being on display because I'm going to cover those up in a second with this bow because that's all going to get covered over. And I think it's a really rather lovely, non-festive gift box. That's cute, isn't it? I like it's the Cajun craze. If you're like me and you think you don't like orange, get out gray, Cajun craze. You might find you do. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.